Uh, hi everybody, this is Mikoelos. Today we are going to create this uh, ring and clock animation. And the aim of this tutorial is how to conditionally set the uh, wiggle uh, expression in Adobe After Effects. And as always, uh, if you want to follow along this tutorial, you can go the, to the first link in the description and download two versions of these files. Or you can create it by yourself using my speed drawing process as your guide. You can follow the second link in the description and, uh, and watch the video how to create this icon in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start our Adobe After Effects with a new document. Go to the new new project. Uh, on my new project I want to create a new composition. I want to name it as clock. I want to size this composition with 19, 20 and 10, 80. I want to set the frame rate to 29.97 and a duration of this composition of 6 seconds 10 frames. Background color is white. Click OK and then I want to import the, uh, my file, the import kind of composition. As you can see, we have this folder. I want to open this folder and uh, select all these files, holding Shift key, put it on my um, keyframe uh, layer. Then I want to click on this uh, free space to continuously rasterize this layer and using my right mouse button key, create shapes from vector layer. That gives us a little issue. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I want to set the background to the bottom using my control left bracket and I want to uh, set reset the opacity of these uh, two highlights to 10% again. So I want to click on this third layer from top uh, clock and I want to go to the contents and select the sixth group, go to the transform property and uh, set the opacity to 10% again like so then I want to do that with the my group number 5 set the opacity to 10% uh, again so we end up with our preparation and let's start animating first of all let's go to the fourth layers uh, from top our alarms and here I want to alt click on the rotation and uh, to open the expression dialog box and here I want to write down the wiggle expression wiggle uh, w i 2 g l e and double parentheses and here in this parentheses I want to specify the rate of our expression 4 per seconds it's the first value and then comma and uh, second value is amplitude and amplitude I want to set uh, maximum to 10 degree so and let's try as you can see our alarms our bells are wiggling but I want to stop them at uh, the 5 seconds uh, position when my hand is kicking uh, this clock and uh, to do that we need to write down the expression uh, we need to uh, use our if else statement and first of all we need to specify um, the variable stop time for example equals 5 which stands for 5 seconds and then uh, we need to set our expression if open parentheses and in parentheses uh, time is less than uh, stop time I use camel case stop time we need to perform our wiggle open curly brackets and close curly brackets uh, here after our wiggle expression so our our all expression looks like this as you can see and I want to uh, copy this expression with Ctrl C. I'm gonna pass this expression in our clock uh, I to animate the position of our clock. But before I want to preview 
as you can see they weakly and they, uh, then they stop in the last point of our wiggle uh, animation. So uh, let's open our third layer and uh, work with the position. So Alt click or Option click uh, to the position stop watch. And here I want to simply Control V. But uh, for me this amplitude is too large. I want to uh, decrease the amplitude to three. So is the maximum uh, amplitude is three pixels. And let's preview. As you can see, our clock is starting wiggling as well, and they are both st uh, both stop in the uh, five second position. Uh, so uh, next, our next step after we uh, finish in this is to go uh, to go to the free sound talk. Follow the third link in the description to download the analog alarm clock. After you download in this, just simply grab uh, this uh, alarm clock uh, into the your composition panel, then uh, paste it here in your layer, and I want to decrease it to two seconds and ten frames. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a copy and move it to from three seconds to five seconds, ten frames. And we'll have a half. This kind of animation, uh, ringing clock. And our next step is to animate our hand. Next step, I want to animate my hand. For doing that, uh, I want to perform very briefly a very simple animation. First of all, I want to go to my uh, opacity and decrease the opacity at starting point to 0%. And then I want to go to the 4 seconds. And here I want to set it to 100%. And then I want to select both of them, use my right, right mouse button click and choose toggle hold keyframe so my animation is jump from 0 to 100 without any transition that i want to animate the position i want to start the animate position of my head at four uh, seconds i want to uh, increase the value of my uh, x position horizontal value to around uh, let's say 100 uh, 1260 pixels and then I want to go to 420 pixels and increase the value or decrease the value of my position. Uh, to around 920 pixels and I also want to uh, decrease the value of my uh, vertical position value to around 500 pixels to move my uh, hand to the top. Uh, then uh, I want to start animating my rotation. Also, I want to set the angle of my rotation at 4 uh, degrees 10 uh, frames to uh, 0. Then I want to set uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 degrees. 10 degrees at position of 420 frames. Then I want to move my uh, uh, slider to position of 5 seconds. And here I want to perform the kick. So I want to increase the value of my Y position. Like so. And uh, I want to set the uh, angle of my rotation to negative 10 degree. Like so. Maybe I want to increase the Y value to a little bit more to around 7 at 510 degrees. I want to set the rotation to 0 uh, degrees and I want to set the position Y position to 520 and at 520 pixels, I want to animate my Y value and uh, move my hand to the right. Uh, then I want to add my uh, mask, go to Rectangle tool and click this little uh, icon to, to tool to create mask. I want to 
uh, draw a rectangle here as you can see and I want to animate this mask path first of all I want to set 4 then I want to increase it to the at the value of 420 pixels so I want to click on mask path and uh, choose my selection and with my selection I want to double click to access to bonding box of this rectangle and move it to the right then I, I need to decrease the value of my mask first of all at the position of 5 second 10 frames I want to ctrl C ctrl V paste the key, last keyframe and at position of 5 seconds and 20 frames I want to double click and to the left move the bandit box to the left decreasing the width of our uh, mask so this is uh, all of our animations then I want to select all of these keyframes except the opacity and ctrl shift F9 to make them all easy out so this is our final animation and uh, this is basically it this is the end of this tutorial I hope you get the point that uh, how your expression can benefit from the knowledge of JavaScript and uh, from the particularly from if uh, else statements uh, so you can uh, provide any logic to your expression here inside Adobe After Effects. You can create more complex, more smooth, more uh, interesting animation. I want to thank you for following this, uh, this tutorial and have a nice day.